the sixteenth of a second difference, but there's a lot, a lot more years. So what I'm watching now is GCW. You wouldn't understand film from uh, New York City. Wish I would have known about that. Um, and. So like I said, this is Ninja Mac versus Jack Evans, and I heard from another podcast, a better podcast than um, than uh, the Busted Open Place, because they actually talk about TNA and slash Impact, they talk about some anniversaries, which was really cool. Um, so I heard from them that Jack Evans got hurt in this match. So at this point, I haven't seen how he got injured or whatever, um, because usually when wrestlers get injured, they get injured by their own hand. So let's see how it happens here. I don't think any, I mean, like, um, I think D Lo Brown and Draws is one of the rare instances when a wrestler caused another person's injury because of like some sort of like weird thing that happened there. Um, oh, yeah, the, the Biggie and uh, what's his name thing that that was because of a mess up right there. But usually it's uh, someone fucking up themselves. So if you want to um, watch at home per se, it's a 41:28 right now. But it doesn't matter. I'm gonna skip ahead a couple things there because I keep posing and slow things and whatever. Something that just skip the bullshit. Evans did a springboard twirling kick. Very impressive. That's something like Phoenix would do. That's very difficult to do. What the? Whoa! Oh, oh, oh. Oh! Holy shit. I'll tell you. Okay. Jack Evans goes for the rope, goes across the ropes. About to do a, a cartwheel. However, the GCW ring is much smaller than he anticipated. And his leg gets trapped up in the middle rope. As he's trying to flip over the top rope, he's trying to do a cartwheel and then flip over the top rope, but the ring's too small, and he doesn't adjust correctly, and his leg gets trapped in between the middle and the top rope. Oh, no. It looks really oh, bad, bro. Oh, no. Tied up in the ropes and... Oh, no. Oh, no. Got tied up in the ropes and... Ninja Mac taking full advantage of the situation, connected with the kick. Let's see if there's any signals going on here. Okay, he's, he's trying to tell him something. I, I, okay, he's whispering something. Okay. Referee's checking on Evans. Evans is only doing punching right now. Okay, he's walking on it. Okay. Injuries can get worse and worse as it goes on. Okay, Evans is going for another flip right here. He's going for net. Oh, he, he, he does oh it. Ninja Mac catches him so he doesn't have to land hard on his leg. Evans going for another flip, a twisty flip in the ring. Okay, works out well, so everything looks good so far with Evans. Okay. Oh, shit. Carp going to the corner, but uh, he got a kick in the back. Oh. Nice counter for that one. Okay, Evans going to the top rope. Whoa! Don't do it on the bad leg right there, bro. That's like something Rich Swan does, man. Don't, don't. It was a corkscrew backflip onto his feet. Ninja Mac is, Ninja Mac is so good, though. Falcon arrow combination. Evans going to the top again. Could that be what Evans has in mind? Woo! Nobody home as Ninja Mac moves out of harm's way. Jack Evans hit hard. Ninja Mac goes for the quick cover. He got him. He got him. He realized he was about to follow up. But realize that Evans was down and hurt, Ninja went for the cover. Man. Smart on the part of Ninja Mac because he scored the three count. And some 
sometimes it's not the flashiest move that wins the match. It's the most effective one. And you can see, I don't know if uh, if our friends here, Jack Evans was knocked out. Yeah, this wasn't shown on Botchamania. And this is why I say so many fucking times matches that go on too long have a greater risk for injury. This is proof. You flip too much, it's gonna back it's gonna back it's gonna back far on you. I believe every single move Evans did offensively was flipping. And if you flip too much, it's going to, even if you're the smallest person in the world, it's going to cause fatigue. This is it. I don't know if anybody but he has this on YouTube or anywhere. But all you need to know is that what Evans did, I'm just confirming it right here. Yeah, it is that move. Uh, <laughs> it's Ricochet's move. The movie used to do. Um, It's the 630. Like con uh, continual front flips. Unfortunately, Evans landed on his neck. And the way he was moving afterwards, well, I should say he, how he wasn't moving afterwards. Nobody home. His body went stiff immediately. Home as Ninja Mac moves out of harm's way. Jack Evans hit Ninja Mac tried to grab him immediately. Rep said go for the pen. Smart, smartest move in the world right there. Mind. You're supposed to land on your back. He did not land on his back. That was all neck. It's about 45:30 in the video. Damn. Yeah, I can see why he was going to be around for a while. When I saw Ricky Starks get hit that time uh, on Dynamite with no fans, I was like, he's going to be out for months. I knew it immediately. I I, I know a bad injury when I see one. Yeah, this is one of those kind of injuries right here. I don't know if it's this show or the one after one, but John Morrison got injured as well. So, whew. Let's love it. Uh, yeah, he was flipping way too much, man. I don't know. You need to... I mean, like, if you're going to do a flipping move, like do it earlier on in the match, um, I guess he felt that he could do it. Um, I believe, like, at that very point, more than likely in his mind, he thought he rotated it up properly, because I know he did this move a, a lot of times. But, um, I saw him on the ropes getting short footing, making sure he did that, because Jeff Hardy does that thing, Pocket does the same thing, short footing to make sure you don't slip when you, when you go off of that thing. When he jumped up the thing properly, it looked like everything was fine. But for one reason or another... Um, he rotated incorrectly, and that's all it takes. One rotation that's too much or too little, playing with fate. That's it for now. Clack off.